So, thanks to me watching a moto vlogger called Motonosity, he had something called Buffalo Cauliflower. I've never heard of it until now, so I looked it up. And that's what I'm making today. First thing I'm doing is I'm going to make a tempura batter, which requires three quarters cups waters, a cup of flour, two eggs. It's a very basic tempura batter. Uh, let me throw this in a bowl and whisk it up. If you're going to do a straight tempura batter and no sauce or anything, you'd uh, probably want to add some garlic, some pepper, some salt, but you need to have your oven preheated around 350 degrees. should be perfect. And uh, you're going to need some cornstarch. So, how much cornstarch? Honestly, it's just enough to coat the uh, stuff. So I'm just going to put... Uh, bunch in there. Cheap enough. <laughs> Either way, have ourselves some cauliflower. I'm gonna cut the cauliflower up here in a second. I don't normally eat a whole lot of California, so I didn't realize even how it was made. I don't know what type of factory they make California in, but that was pretty easy. I don't know if you can do anything with this part of the California. But that's going to be trash. Now, I guess you could fry this, but we are baking it for healthy reasons. And that's the way Modernosity and his lady did it. He said it was good. Didn't really uh, extrapolate on that. So we're gonna find out how good it really is and I'm making a lot of it. So I'm gonna wanna lightly coat a cookie sheet. We could use a glass pan too if you wanted with some sort of uh, non-stick spray or cooking oil or Crisco or whatever that you like. I am using olive oil Crisco. And uh, we up over here. We got the stuff pretty nice and coated in our stuff. We're just gonna dip it in the batter here and set it right on the cookie sheet. So I can buy it. Here's the moment of truth. As I knock everything over again. Either way, we are nice. I like that. They even smell actually pretty good. All right. So they look and smell good. I'm gonna move them over here, and then we're gonna put them in a bowl, toss them, put them back on a cookie sheet and bake them and let the uh, hot sauce cook in a bit.
So now that we have this all broken up and in here, I'm going to take our red hot wing hot buffalo sauce. I'm going to pour probably about half of this in it. I am walking. What is right here? A nice even coating. I'm going to put the top on and I'm going to toss it. <laughs> that's my little girl with the ear in the background. And now that smells and looks beautiful. I'm just going to move it back over on here. I'm going to throw it back in the oven for about 5 10 minutes to kind of dry the uh, hot sauce into the tempura. Decided to do a small batch with some uh, barbecue sauce. It's gonna be good. Gonna be good. This way the girl the girls can eat it, even though that if they can't take the spice from the hot sauce. Yeah. So they're all done. I paired them with blue cheese like you normally pair buffalo wings with. Now this is some hot stuff. I didn't realize that I got the hot buffalo and not just the regular buffalo, but that's okay. So, me and my camera fox are going to give this a try. I'm going to try it without anything. Good. Very good. Yeah. Almost can't tell that it's not chicken. Alright. I'm going to try it with some blue cheese. Mmm. Yes. Yes, I almost prefer this over chicken wings. Yeah. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Jamon Asi, for sharing what he eats and stuff, because that right there, that's going to be a staple in our, uh, in what we, we're going to be eating uh, over the next few months. <laughs> well, thank everyone for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you try this, because this is, oh my god, one of the best things I've ever eaten. I'm not a big fan of cauliflower, but wow mm -hmm. this is good the, the spice is spot on the blue cheese really accentuates everything it really just makes it taste like a chicken one. Yep. we got some barbecue ones in there they're, they're for the kids we're going to be devouring these we're not even going to touch barbecue ones <laughs> like I was going to leave you guys hanging one, two, the barbecue ones no, not just the one, two, fox three, queen gamers five, can give her a try first very sweet. Charred. Four, five, six, six, That's pretty good too. You can pretty much put any type of topping or or sauce that you want on these and it'll just take it like a champ. I gotta say, this is probably one of the best things I've ever made. Is that right? Yep. I like it. These are way too good. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Share them with all your friends. And as always, y'all eat happy. Take care.